to yo to yo ya 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 bo o turu gbe ke sori donak this one happened in the eastern part of nigeria recently in aba in abia state um abia state is the eastern part of nigeria a woman who allegedly took a man's private part spiritually has returned it to him in Abba. You will see a video of a woman who has been beaten. Obviously, she has been beaten mercilessly by the people. You can see the open sore. You can see the bruises all over on her, on her right, on the right hand side of her face. Showing in the camera on her skin or her, her neck, her breastplate, even her uh, right leg at the back, her skin has spilled off. They beat her mercilessly, alleging that this woman stole her neighbor's penis and then returned it back. According to the report, if you listen to this video, if you watch this video, you will notice that most of them are speaking in Igbo. Except for the man, um, is somebody there in among the crowd who is asking her questions and asking in English that why did she steal the man's penis? Allegedly, the man said that his penis got missing when this lady came to ask him for money. I'm sure maybe she, she, um, she went to ask him. To borrow her money or something we don't know the source of why she's asking him for money but he has said that this lady came to ask him for money that immediately he gave her the money after he she gave her the money his penis went missing uh according to what if you listen to what uh, most people are saying people who live around there who know her that she used to live in the in that house she used to live in that house, but she's no longer living there anymore. So, so the man's penis has been missing and she's brought it back. Well, when they say pen, uh, penis has been missing, she took the penis from him. Spiritual. It's a spiritual attack. When they take your... It's a rich... It's a, so, it's a, a, in fact, it's very weird, very evil, very strange. That's what I would call it. So some the, it, it, it is so evil, but according to the woman, what she's saying, she said she didn't take the man's penis. She didn't take the man's penis. She didn't take the man's penis. Maybe she only came back there to return the money that maybe he borrowed her. So, but the man is saying and insisting that his penis got missing. He lost his penis after he gave her the money. Immediately he gave her the money after his penis went missing. My question is, where is the proof that this woman took this man's penis? Did he report to anybody that his penis got missing after he gave her, immediately after he gave her the, the money? Who did he report to? Did he go to the police? Did he go to any native doctor? Where is the proof? So you can see the woman kneeling there and begging. They have beaten her mercilessly. This is jungle justice. When people take laws into their hands. Whatever the case might be. I think this should be taken to the police. There should, a, 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 a report should be filed. He should come with evidence that his penis got missing. Apart from that. He should go to, they should go to the hospital to check medically. If his penis is, is working. And... And see if it, it, it's, it's something that is, it, it's, it's had that history. And then if they are not satisfied, they should go to the church or they should go to the native doctor. Not taking laws into their hands to beat a woman. And I'm sure a lot of people beat that woman. And you see that woman is walking alone. And because this man has said that his penis went missing, after he gave her the money, everybody believed him without proof. This is what I call jungle justice. It is so unfair. Look at the bruises on this woman's body. What about if they now found, find out that she is innocent? I'm not saying she is. I'm not there. 
I'm not taking side. Any one of them could be innocent. Any one of them could be lying or fabricating the story. So I'm not saying it's a fabricated story. I'm just being neutral. Where is the proof? What about it? They find out that this woman is completely innocent. Maybe she just came back to return the money. Maybe it's something that somebody had done. It so happened that just about the time he was about to lose his penis spiritually, somebody came in, his, his neighbor came innocently to his door to ask him for money. And it so happened, it, it just happened after. And she could be completely innocent. At this day and age, Africa is still doing things like this. Why not use all these things for the development and betterment of Africa? So that our people will not be going through the sea, dying in the sea, going through the desert to travel to European countries. When you get there, you are, you are surprised that your, even your own country in Africa is better. Why not use the so-called witchcraft or all these powers that you have to develop your country? If you can take somebody's penny spiritually, why can't you use it when people have issues, medical issues, to improve and cure them? So how you not see this matter? Make you not talk put. Make you not leave comments. Now no say if they not bring matter, come to me. Me, your favorite T and your favorite T times uh, spiller, Kirsty Valentine. You no go talk put. So do not forget to subscribe. Press the bell button for notifications. Leave a comment and share my video. It's your favorite babe, Kirsty Valentine.